that you focus on the breath, you keep going over the same territory again and again and again. It's like walking back and forth on the same path or riding down a road that you've ridden down many times before. Now, most people in situations like that, they get bored and they start letting their thoughts wander away to something else. But the reason we're going back and forth over the territory is because we want the territory to be really familiar so that when different things come up, you notice them. It's like sweeping the, the pad up here at the top of the monastery every day. Each time you sweep, you begin to notice, okay, this track has been left in the sand. You can tell if there's been a bird that's come through, or raccoons have come through, or snakes have come through. If we didn't sweep it every day, you wouldn't know because the tracks would all be a mess. But you go back and forth every day, every day, every day, and then you begin to notice the little things if you stay observant. This is one of the hard parts of it, because oftentimes nothing much seems to be changing. But you have to be patient and you have to be observant at the same time. And try to notice each time you do this, there are going to be subtle differences in the breath. There will be subtle differences in the breath, subtle differences in the mind. The pains in the body are not always the same. The issues in the mind are not always the same. But you've got the breath there in the background all the time, all the time, so that that is not meant to be a disturbance. It's meant to smooth out all the other variables we have here. And just focus on this one thing, what's happening in the mind. When everything else gets smoothed out and there's nothing much happening around you, then you can begin to notice all the subtleties of the mind. Otherwise, there are just too many events outside to keep you distracted. So do your best not to get bored with this. If the thought comes up, this is boring, just step back from that and say, well, that thought is there in the mind, but I don't have to run with it. I don't have to identify with it. I don't have to take it as a challenge any more than just stepping back from it and not getting involved. The fact that it's boring is, that you're, is due to the fact that you're not paying attention. So try to focus more attention on what you're doing. Try to see what subtle differences there are in the mind that you've been missing, subtle differences in the breath that you've been missing. And you realize that there's an awful lot here, a lot to learn from and an awful lot that you can make more skillful so that there's less suffering and less stress going on. So that suffering and stress that's always there, that we take for granted, we begin to realize it doesn't have to be there. We have choices. That's why you, when you pay careful attention, then you see what those choices are. <laughs>